Hallelujah. Brother, number 22. His banner over me is love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought me to the banqueting table. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's sing it. He brought me to the banqueting table.
time, I'd like you to read with me the Word of God. A portion of Scripture taken from John chapter 6, verses 45 to 50. We read together from the Bible. It is written in the prophets. They shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Yes. Not that any man hath seen the Father save he which is of the Father. He hath seen the Father. Very, very I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I am the bread of life. Yes. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Lord. You may be seen. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we have been able to read the words that you spoke yes. thank you, Lord. way over 2,000 years ago yes, Father. when you were on earth. And we know this day that you are the bread of life. Yes, yes. amen. Yes, Lord. And we know that you had come down from heaven to give man eternal life. Yes, Lord Jesus. And we pray, Father, that you will give us greater insight into this great life that you have bestowed upon your redeemed. Thank you. May we have understanding of what we read this day. Thank you, Father. Given to us by the Holy Spirit. Thank you. We pray that the Holy Spirit will flow through this meeting yes, Father, right. and meet with each soul. Yes, Father. We humbly ask it and give you all the praise and the honor and magnify your holy name. Yes, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah, into the messages now, into the quotes. Yes. Wonderful quotes. <coughs> quotes that sustain us. Quotes that help us to Thank you, Lord. Walk this narrow way. Yes. Number one, in the last message that went forth, there came a flying eagle. It's eagle time, reveal time. Yes. The word of God made manifest. Yes. The word of God proved. We're so thankful this morning that we have the Word of God, but just not the Word of God alone, but the proved Word of God. Amen. Proved to be, yeah, and amen, true as true can be. And number two says it's the eagle age. What a great age we're privileged to, to live in. And in this age, there are those that get the Word and the revelation. Yes, amen. How many of you have got the Word? Yes. Oh, yeah. I believe every preacher throughout the world this day is using the Word. But so few have the revelation of the Word. Amen. Number three, and remember when the eagle finally comes, it'll be 100th of 1% that'll listen. It's the eagle age. Now, last week we closed off with that quote, remember? Yeah. And I misread it purposely. And I waited a while and it was picked up. And the correct way of reading it is it'll be one hundredth of one percent that'll listen. Man, that is a small, small group. 
sideways he was a turning prophet he told us many things about turning <laughs> he was sent to turn our hearts yes amen. you turn that picture sideways if you look life magazine turn it sideways
And we know today that the world is perishing. Amen. Amen. The whole earth has been traumatized. Major events and disasters are taking place and it's causing fear in the hearts of the inhabitants of the earth. Oh yeah. Nations are in great stress. Fires, mega fire, floods, famines, terror overwhelms humanity at this time. Murder. taking place and troubles. When a true brother in Christ or true sister in Christ meets another, it's not long before they start talking about the vicious things that are taking place on the face of the earth. It's astounding.
John 8, 23 and 24, we read the Holy Bible and it says, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Yes. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Oh my. Oh my. It has been revealed to us. And we believe that that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This picture that we have this morning is a picture of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. Yes. The one that appeared to Moses in the burning bush. The one that appeared to Paul on the road to Damascus. That same one, his picture is before you. We've turned it to the right. We're into the eagle age, the revelation to be revealed, the whole thing. Ah, that's much disputed. Many people, most people, don't believe it. They believe part of it, a certain percentage of it. But to say that that is the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't believe it, they say. You'll die in your sins because of unbelief. Yes. Right. Number 11, the word has been made manifest, the eagle time. The time of the word to return back, to restore the faith of the fathers back to the children again. And they're so, listen to this one, they're so united that they turn it down. They turn it that way, eh? instead of that one. That's right. yeah. They're so united, they turn it down. Yes, that's right. And they ain't nothing but spiritual death. Sister, don't turn the picture down. Turn it to the right. Yes, amen. That was our Lord up there. Every church age has ceased. He is the headstone. He takes the whole building with him, which is the church. And number 14 says, His days of intercessions over. I don't believe it. We don't believe it. Our church cannot accept it. You die in your sins because of unbelief. That's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. True. <clears throat> but hear me. The more we preach the truth, the more we bear witness to these great quotes and things that have been spoken and said, the more we are confronted with extreme disasters, which I believe is confirming the message of the hour. Number 15, a simple quote. When Jesus comes, the rapture takes place. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. I don't believe it. Yeah. You die in your sins. That's right. I don't accept it. You perish in your sins. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, we're going to go deeper. 
Bank. And let's see if you can walk with us. For this is what this little group believes in Perth, Western Australia. Number 16. All of them will rise up. Plumb back from the first watch onto the seventh. And all go in the rapture. That's a big, big statement. But brother, this is bright food. trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which all arrive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. Yes. The quickening power on the living. Hallelujah! The quickening power on the dead.
proclaim the vengeance of our God. And it's been meted out. Judgment is striking the earth. Yes, true. On creeping judgment is everywhere. The last two Sundays we've been preaching pretty heavy messages on the coming of the Lord. And the prophet of God said he brings judgment at his second coming. Do you see what happened? In Lombok? This past week, do you see what happened in Australia? The prophet of God said, Do you see what the earthquakes are doing? Humanity is captured in terror. Tonight, on the television, you'll find how close Australia come to getting blown to pieces. But it's not going to stop. It'll continue on. And we'll find that to be so as we go through these quotes this day. The true church the elect, the Gentile bride, number 20, the Gentile goes to meet him in the air. Amen. Hallelujah! Yes, amen. They know that's our Lord up there. Yes, yes, that's true. She has been caught up in the mystery of the seven seas. Yes. Yes. Amen. Well, there you go. Number 19, the trumpet sounds and he never comes. We meet him in the air. Amen. See, that just confirms what I've, I've read on 20. So many preachers present a story to their congregation that Jesus will be here on earth at his second coming. But the prophet of God says he never comes to earth on his second coming. We meet him in the air. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so many are mixed up and got the cart before the horse. The Gentile goes to meet him in the air. Is that the scripture? They go to meet him in the air. And then we go up. Yes. And Jesus, are you listening, brother? And Jesus never puts his feet on the earth until the church has been raptured and took home. And the wedding supper is over in heaven. Oh, they don't want to put that one together. Yeah. They don't want to deal with it. They skip over it. They don't like to discuss it. But the bride has been raptured. things 
taking place. As she remains a while preaching to the lost. Sorry, Brother Ashley, you got that wrong. You'll die in your sins. Mm. Brother, things are gaining momentum. Things are beginning to snowball. It's going faster and faster. Yeah. As we get in nearer and nearer to the wedding supper. Amen. What is taking place? Read with me number 21. Let's go slowly over it. The blessings uh -huh, are taken from the Gentiles. And the church is taken up. And the cold formal church is hunted down like dogs by the communists and Roman parties. Yes. That's a big, 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 big quote to look at. Communism is sweeping the world. South Africa at this time. Compensation of land. Redistribution of land without compensation. The government just take the land. Out. Your land belongs to us now. Gentiles are destined to be hunted down like dogs. Number 22. God will wipe off them unbelieving Gentiles. See? Yeah. I don't believe it, Brother Ashley. You got that all wrong. That's not exactly right. You're preaching a, a cult. You die in your unbelief. <laughs> Amen. 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 The blessings of God. Oh my. Look, let's just run into this quickly. A little while, Brother Steve, coming to the hall one Sunday, and he said, I've got a new song. A new 
new song. And we learn to sing. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Amen. Listen to the words. Very good words. While the world looks upon me as I struggle along. And they say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart I'm rejoicing, how I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a roof above me. I'm a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and a fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. I know I'm not wealthy, and these clothes, they're not new. And I don't get much money, but Lord, I have you. Amen. And that's all that matters, though the world may not see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Do you know what? The blessings of you. From the Gentiles right now because of their unbelief. True. True. Earthquakes are soiling up the blessings of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for a fine family. I'm so thankful. For the little family that's gathered here this morning. Yes, thank you. You know, one time I come to Jesus in Matthew 12, and he stretched forth his hands towards his disciples, and they said, He said, This is my family. They that do the will of my Father. Amen. 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 Yeah? yeah? That's my family. Not the one you sit at the table with and have an argument. Not the one that you put to bed at night and say good night. But the one that does the will of my father. That's my family. Amen. Brother Bram said, I am your brother. Yes. Amen. Amen. He said, your wife is your sister. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for a fine family. Yes. They that do the will of the Father. What is the will of the Father? What is the Father's business? Correcting the denominations. Tearing down the creeds. You must be about your Father's business. If you are, you're of my family. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yes. for your blessings on me. Yes. Oh, my. Swiftly, brother, swiftly, sister, communism and Roman parties are taking over, taking everything. The first angel, Paul, Paul said, after he had been turned down so many times by the Jews, he said, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. See, the Jews lost everything because of their unbelief. Yes. Yeah. You go read Josephus and all the statements of Brother Brennan made. They boiled their own children and ate them and starved to death. The blessings that God had placed upon them were taken from them yes. by the Roman parties. Yes. And thus it shall 
of no promise. It's thus, saith the Lord. It has been spoken in the name of the Lord. Yes. Oh my, oh my. Paul said, Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. They will hear it. He told the Jews, that's the Messiah. But they called him Beelzebub. And the Gentiles have had the message ring throughout the world. Out of this little hall has gone forth quote after quote after quote after quote after quote of the great message of Malachi 4. Here we land up in the Eagle Age. Number 25, you know what the Gentile church does? The same thing the Jewish church did. Too blind to see it. Yes. I don't believe it. You'll die in your sins. Mm. It'll be on their hearts. Oh sure, Revelation 10 will be on their hearts. They were all looking for the Messiah, the Jews were, but when he come, he come a different way. That's right. And today, they're all looking for the rapture. But you know what? It's come a different way. Yes. Number 26, they got it all figured out. You can't tell them nothing about it. But God moves right on over the top of them and just lets them sit there. That's just the way he's always done. See, you can't tell them. You can't talk to them. You can't reason with them. We've got a surplus of preachers, brother. We overstock, sister, with message preachers in the world right now. Mm -hmm. Too many! God only needs one man to shake the place. But you know the surplus of ministers and the overstock ministers have spoken of the Bible, where Jesus said, many, many, that's more than one, more than two, more than three, many will come to me in that day and say, Lord, we have, we have preached in your name. We've done many wonderful works. We've had great campaigns, we've had great meetings. We've gone north, south, east, and west. We spent our life preaching. <coughs> and you'll say to them, What? Depart from me, ye cursed. I never knew you. Yeah. I appeared before you. And you did not believe it. And for this you will die in your sins. Amen. You see, preachers are worse than terrorists. Terrorists destroy the body. Preachers destroy the soul. Yeah. And look what he said in number 27. Are you reading with me? If you want to get muddled up, just fool with preachers. That's a killer. Yeah. That's a killer. That's right. But then he said in 28, you listen to me. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I've got the pillar of fire above my head to prove that I speak to you in the name of the Lord. That's true. I've got the signs and I've got the wonders. And as 
tell you the word of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Number 29. I'm just your brother. He's in my family. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God. But when the angel of the Lord moves down, it becomes then the voice of God to you. I am God's voice to you. Yes. See, I say that again. That time it was under inspiration. Amen. I am Malachi 4, 5. I am Revelation 3. I am Revelation 10, 7. Yes. I am God's voice to you. Number 30, God's chief sign is a prophet. He has never sent a judgment upon the earth without sending a prophet to see Search the scriptures. Brother, sister, whoever you might be, we have had a prophet. Now, we've got judgment. Yes. True. You had a prophet, Brother Ashley? Yes. yes. The Bible says so. Amen. Let me read it to you. Revelation 10, 7, and in the days of the voice of the seventh messenger, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he has declared unto his servants the prophets. There it is, the ascending of indicated prophet, the ascending of prophet, after almost 2,000 years, the ascending someone who is so far from organization, education, and the world of religion, that as John the Baptist and Elijah of old, he will hear only from God and he will have, thus saith the Lord, and speak for God. He will be God's mouthpiece. And he, as it is declared in Malachi 4, 5, or 4, 6, will turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers. He will bring back the elect of the last day. They will hear a vindicated prophet. And the exact truth as it was with Paul. He will restore the truth as they had it. And those elect with him in that day will be the ones who truly manifest the Lord and be his body and be his voice and perform his works. Hallelujah. Do you see it? Brother, I've read it. I've heard it. And I've seen it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look we land in up. Number 31, there is again another people in the land who under their messenger will be the final voice to the final age. Yes. There will be a people who believe that which was delivered by the seven angels. There will be a people who will believe that that's our Lord up there. Yes, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe it, you'll die in your sin. Number 32, and to her God is sending a prophet messenger with a vindicated ministry that he might be accepted by the elect. They will hear him as the first church heard Paul. Hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. There will be a people who believe and will enforce the message of the seventh angel. Yes. Amen. They will tie scripture with scripture and quote with quote. Amen. They will be the voice of God to the final age. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. For your blessings on me. Amen. Amen. Amen.
It wasn't sent for unbelievers. It's for believers. It was sent to, it wasn't sent to unbelievers. It was sent to those who believe. Yes. A special group, elected and selected. Number 34, it's revealed to those whom God calls and is predestinated by his foreknowledge. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Amen. Amen. And listen to the church, the bride. The rapture is a revelation to her. It is a revelation. Yes. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yes. For the fine family. Oh, no. Acts 13, 46 to 48. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you. But seeing you put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. They lost everything, the Jews. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee before a light unto the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. If you're not ordained, you cannot believe. Yes. If you're not called, you cannot, you cannot hear. Number 35, God in every age ordained his church for that age. A message for that age. When he hears the message, there's no church denomination going to hold him. It'll rise, rise, rise huh? to the heights. Brother, we're going up. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Yes. Plant my feet on higher ground. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you rise, brother. You go higher and higher and higher. And I believe the true bride has gone so high now, she's undetectable. Hallelujah. Yeah? Yeah. Unrecognizable. Yes. Unnoticeable. Listen, the bride is so far up in the, in the mysteries of God now that she's unhearable. She has become invisible. Amen. Yeah. Oh my. We're there, brother. We're marching on to glory. Number 36, we are so smart and so set in our ways until we fail to humble ourselves to realize that God that's in a little mission on the corner. Hey, I like this little mission. On the we stumble over simplicity. They've always done it. This little mission on the corner, throwing out its lights. Come to the hall this morning, Paul said to me, uh oh, we've got trouble. You've got all the electrical equipment out there, they've got all the big trucks and poles in the air and ladders and and, and he said, It looks like we might have our lights cut off. And he went over and said to the fellow, he said, oh, we're going to have our lights cut off. He said, no, we can't cut your lights off. We're only cutting those lights off. Brother, they can't cut our light off. Amen. 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 We have a light that they have no instrument that they can destroy. That's yes. Yes. Who is it? Jesus. The light of the world. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. There he is with them angels. Oh, you have a legacy one day. Amen. You'll be able to say, as you look back, I belong to that family. Yeah. I was one of them. Yeah. Amen. Yes. They proclaimed the truth yeah. of the last day. Yeah. Oh my, they can't put out the light that's shining 
in this little hole. Amen. You'll perish in your unbelief. Look, yeah, here, here we go. 37, closing now. Here's the angel on earth. See, Brother Branham. And another angel, mighty angel, come down. Mighty messenger, come down. This angel was an earthly angel messenger, but here comes one down from heaven, a rainbow covenant. See, only Christ it could be. Amen. Amen. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. That's our light, brother. <coughs> Number thirty-eight. Notice. It's Christ. And the Antichrist refuses the true right doctrine. Amen. Revelations 10 is true right doctrine. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. John 8, 24. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. That's right. Here we stand. We've been in this hall now, I think my wife said 14, 15 years. 16 years. Preaching the same message every Sunday. The Lord is coming. Yeah. The Lord is coming. Last two quotes. It's just all perfectly typed up. Listen. And there's no mistake about it. Yeah. He said, I've hidden around the ends of it, the sides of it, the inside, the outside. And show it by every scripture the chronology of it, till we know it's absolutely the truth. See, there's no mistake. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. There he is with them angels. Yes. The supreme judge of heaven and earth. We've preached. And we've preached, and we've preached to the until we can hardly preach anymore. Brother, they'll never put this light in it. When we decease, this light will still burn on. Because this same message will carry over to the Jews. Amen. And the Gentiles will be wiped out. Number 40, we're at the consummation of the world's history. So are you believing what you're reading here? We are at the consummation of the church ages. It's all over. Luther, Wesley, the Pentecostals, Branham. It's all done. It's finished. The message has been given. We're at the consummation of world, the political world. We're at the consummation of the natural world. We're at the consummation of all things. It's hard to accept. But when you sit down under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and you, you read the Word of God, you begin to see there's no mistake about it. That's right, brother. Amen. Amen. We've hit it this side and that side. We've gone under it and over it. We've come from north, south, east and west. This is the truth. The Lord has come. Amen. That is our message yes. from Perth. This is what this family believes. Amen. 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 And amen. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Oh, so true. Thank you, Brother. Can we just stand and then close it? Let's sing this one again. Uh, 69. I feel the pull. Amen. I feel the pull. 
I hear his call and I know his spirit's moving me to give my all. Let's sing it for a moment. And I 